That's what's up. I'm gonna have to add this one to my favorites. Hold up, man. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, put that on my favorites, man. I like that track. Hey guys, welcome back to New Stuff TV, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine. It is flower shirt season Richardson because yeah, man, it's the spring. That's when the flower shirts come out and I'm just in party mode all freaking day long. Either way, we got to talk about this new joint from Sony. It is the Field Alt 1. I like that Sony's starting to name their, uh, their speakers with an actual name. That way we don't have to remember a cluster of numbers and like alphabet. But uh, I've already done a dedicated video for this speaker, so I, I approve it, man. This is, this is gonna be a new fade, man. This one always gonna be in rotation as far as I'm concerned. But I got some, some other people out there who wanna know what it sounds like compared to its direct competitor, which would be the JBL Flip 6. I know this speaker appears to be a little bit bigger than the Flip 6, but if you actually look at the base radiators, uh, radiators they're actually the same size, man. And it's just the, the, outer, the outer housing of it that's just bigger. If you take that little cap off the end, throw this in there, you got the same size speaker. This is a direct competitor. They're the same price, same output, and everything else. So, boom, there you go. But then the haters going to be like, what about the, the Charge 5, man? Look, it's a bigger speaker, bigger drivers. <laughs> like, it costs more. It's, it's just a bigger speaker. But to satisfy the haters, we're going to go ahead and compare it to the Charge 5, too. But we got some Soundcore fans out there because I'm a Soundcore fan. I'm a JBL fan, too. It's just that I like what I like. You know, like I can do that if I want, right? But we got the Soundcore Motion uh, 300. I'm not going to compare it to the Soundcore Motion Motion or no Soundcore Boom 2 because that's just about as stupid as comparing it to a Charge 5. I'm not going to waste anyone's time with that. It's, it's a better speaker. Um, <clears throat> But I got the Motion 300 here, which is a direct competitor as far as price point, size and output and everything else. So, you know, let's talk a little bit about some, some things other than sound first. So as far as battery life, we're here neck and neck. We got 12 hours, okay? I, I'm, honestly, man, I cannot remember the battery life on this, uh, on this uh, Motion 300, but I put it up right here for, uh, for those of you who are really concerned. As far as like what's on the back, as far as opening up that speaker booty, let me look real quick and I'll tell you. Hold up, man. Uh, where is this? There, there's no speaker booty on this one. It's just, wait a minute. Are you serious? I thought it had a speaker booty, Wilson. <laughs> it's just the back of the speaker. And literally all you get is the USB-C charging port on the Flip 6. And then on the Sony, you get the USB-C charging port. All right, so they're pretty much neck and neck on that one. But now we get into the other stuff, man. And this is where I think JBL has had it for a very long time. And that is the ability to pair with other speakers. Yes, they both can do it, but only JBL has a dedicated button to do it where you can just press this little button right here on the top of the speaker and press the same button on the opposite speaker. And you either got stereo connections if you have another flip six or if you just want to pair them up with a bunch of different JBL speakers, it just they just automatically find each other and boom, it's done. With Sony, you have to go into the app in order to do that. And it works, but it's not as seamless as the JBL uh, way of doing things. And it's just, you know, I might not want to go reach for my phone. So I wish Sony would have included that. But what they did include here was this alt button. This is essentially a bass boost button. With the alt off, it sounds really good. Uh, it sounds more like... Uh, it's not flat, it's just, oh man, let me see. It's just a lighter, lighter bass tone to where you can actually watch, you know, some YouTube content or a movie or something like that. But if you want to hear some music and you want that extra thump behind your, your track that you're listening to, tap that alt button one time and you got all you need as far as bass. As far as uh, some aesthetic stuff goes, I like the way both of them look. It's always good to have a bottle speaker, okay? This round, this round uh, aesthetic right here, it's functional for a lot of different reasons. You can put it in a bottle holder, cup holder for the bike or car, or ATV or whatever, but the Sony also fits, even though it is a squircle, but that's where its benefits come in. Check this out. So you see, I got Raylan sitting here, man. I got Raylan here and Raylan, he's a little rambunctious sometimes, man. So if I put the speaker here and he gets up, he's going to knock this thing over and it's going to start rolling and stuff. Or if I put it on the table back here, you know, the table might get bumped a little bit and then the speaker goes rolling off. As far as the Sony, 
See, look, he's, he's, there it is. You see, <laughs> there it is, he, you saw it. So as far as the Sony, since it's a squircle, it just kind of sits there. It's gonna take some force to actually get that thing to, to roll and flip over. But speaking of flipping over, what if I did want to set it on the ground? If I set the JBL on the ground, it's supposed to sit facing forward, firing at you. But what if I'm up here? Now I can just take the Sony, fire it up. Now everybody can enjoy the music and you don't have to be in front of it. I'm telling you, man, for small speakers, I think every small speaker needs the ability to be either forward firing or up firing. And that's why I really like this Motion 300 because it actually changes the EQ to, to project the sound, whether you have it forward, uh, forward facing, up firing, or hanging uh, right side up if you wanted to. So that's a huge benefit to this one. Now, I guess the only thing we really need to talk about is how these joints sound. All right, well, so I'm just gonna sit them all right here. That way you can see them because you already heard them too with everybody else. So you just tell me which one you happen to like the most as far as the sound quality. 
Oh, snap. Okay. <laughs> so Wilson, you do have some good sense. That's what's up, man. So here's what I like about the Sony. I actually picked the Sony myself. Here's why I like it. I like it because the JBL sounds good, but I feel like sometimes those highs can be a little harsh to the ears, especially with, um, with long listening sessions. It sounds great right off the bat, but after about 10, 15 minutes, I find myself turning it down a little bit because I'm getting listening fatigue from all those highs. Whereas the Sony, right out of the box, it is tuned pretty much perfectly to where I can have a long listening section or session in comfort. And as far as the, uh, the Motion 300, sounds fantastic. It's just, I don't know, I just like that warm sound of the Sony Field 1, man. It's, it's, a, it's a great speaker. But I know the haters are still out there. I, you're the type of guys that say, okay, we're going to play until I win. I don't like playing with people like that, so, <laughs> but I'm gonna give you what you want, man. Let's go ahead and compare this thing to the Charge 5. and I said him right there, man. You go ahead and tell me which one you pick out of the two. Mm, oh, there he is, Wilson. Oh man, Wilson picks the Charge 5. And guess what? I picked the Charge 5 too. But you gotta think about this, man. The Charge 5 is a different speaker. It's actually like a more expensive speaker. It has like more battery life and it has bigger drivers. Like it's, it's a different weight class. And that's the thing, man. They have weight classes in fighting in combat sports for a reason, okay? This is like a guy in junior high playing a guy in high school on the varsity team. It's like two different classes right here, but the JBL to me actually does sound better. So if, for those of you who want to hear that competition, there it is right there. I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is, I do know a little thing about sound, man, and I like what I like. And when it comes to comparing the Sony Field 1 to the other speakers in its weight class, this one is going to win for me all day. But when you compare it to something bigger, if you feel like spending more money, go ahead. Get yourself a charge file. I don't care. It's your money, man. Either way, y'all keep being good to each other, and I'll see you when I see you.